What's up everybody, Sebastian's back for a brand new YouTube video. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video, I would like to be explaining my experience of being an au pair, the good and bad, and also giving you some tips like that. You can enjoy your fun adventure of becoming an au pair. Alright. Now let's explain my experience. Um, so, um, when on this site, Au Pair World, match with a bunch of families. Um, but like, on one side, like I really wanted to take care of a four years old. All right. So, um, I found this family with a four years old and a single parent. Um, we chatted each other, we Skyped once, and on the Skype call, like, I really saw, like, how the chat was, like, full of energy and stuff, and I was like, yo, this is, like, the perfect match for me, and, like, she, she was, like, I felt really comfortable talking with her and stuff, you know. And then after that, we continued chatting, um, we added each other on Facebook, um, we were looking for cheap flights, she proposed me to pay 50% of my flight, as the flights were really expensive, but then after, at the end, I decided and she decided that it's best for me to take the blah blah call, all right? So, took the blah blah call, I think it cost 60 euro. Um, the blah blah call picked me up in at the IKEA in Belgium. It took me all the way to Chamonix. Um, I arrived at night in Chamonix. There my host mother picked me up and she was with a friend there and I still remember like it was I felt amazing like wow like she picked me up you know like it felt so good like wow like I could really like trust them you know and like um in the back of my mind like and, like you know like my dad like thought like what if they don't pick you up you were gonna need to find uh, a, a hotel room to sleep in but no like it was guaranteed like she'd pick me up, you know, even during the ride all the way to Chamonix, me and my host mother were texting, okay, um, I don't have it this time, I don't have it this time, you know, it was constantly changing because, you know, there was traffic and no traffic, etc, 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 okay. So yeah, so, uh, got picked up in Chamonix, uh, we drove 45 minutes to the, the, the house, okay, it was an apartment, and it, like, everything was so new to me, you know, like, and I, I was like, you know, like, it was the first time where, like, I traveled alone to live with a different family, you know, so, like, I was kind of, like, quiet, um, being back, like, I should have, like, you know, been more, like, comfortable, like, I felt a bit uncomfortable, but, like, like, looking back, like, it should have been more comfortable, you know. Um, then after that, um, yeah, she explained me, like, oh, you can take anything you want in the kitchen. If you want to cook, you can cook. Uh, if you want to drink something, you can drink, you know, basically I was free, just like home, to cook whenever I wanted. And to... take whatever I wanted out of the fridge, right? Because as an au pair, you get free food, right? Which is pretty fun. And so I felt like really liberal and like happy, you know? Um, and then she gave me the key of the apartment, like that, you know, when I want to go out, I have the key. So I was responsible for the key. Um, after that, the next day, my host child 
came home because he was sleeping at his parents' house because the day where they picked me up it was late at night so I didn't want him to come with you know um, and then um, so like you know uh, I got introduced to him uh, he showed me his toys we played like calls and stuff um, he was a bit shy at the beginning you know um, but over time it went really well then uh, uh, my host kid and my host mother, we went and explored the city in Aosta. Really beautiful place in the, in the mountains. Um, uh, took a few pictures with my host child, which was really nice. And like, had his hand and like, like, he like, my host mother told me that like, you know, he likes like, when we carry him, you know, like, place where, like, he likes to Superman, we call it, so, like, we falls down, like, boom on you, like that, then you carry him like that. So, you know, we were doing that a bit, um, which was really nice, uh, showed me what the playground was, so when I would be with my host child alone, then in case he wanted to go outside, then we would go out to the playground. Um, so, after that, um, uh, basically like we, uh, in my host family, like they, they, they live in Aosta, you know, in the center, you know, and then, you know, for vacation, they'd go up to Vitan in the mountain. So basically, um, the next day we, you know, packed our bags and went up to the mountain and up in the mountain like it was really amazing like there was a beautiful sun uh what did like the first day like i was playing a lot with him we we're playing we uh like you know jumping and stuff we were doing a lot like under just on the first day like i was playing a lot then like my host mother remind me oh yeah because this is the first day you know and i was like thinking oh yeah i might oh yeah i still have another like 17 days to go and I have to make sure I don't get too exhausted, you know? So, um, like the way like I worked with him like was like, okay, high energy and then low, we do low energy, high energy and then low energy, you know? And then, um, so when we were there, uh, like the next day, you know, my host mother showed me where the hotel is and the pub is, cause in the house there wasn't wifi, but there it was wifi, so that's pretty cool. Um, I, right there, like, I met tons of new people. Um, went and played with my host child, like, you know, we went down and played pinball. And other games, which was pretty fun. Um, while my host mother was talking with her friends and it was really it, it was really nice like how like you know like like they accepted me you know like and they're really nice you know uh like, like in italian like pop like you don't you need to pay nothing you can just get like the free wifi you know and uh, not like in other countries like you need to like buy something to get the wifi you know here like you can just get the free wifi you know which is pretty amazing um then while I was there, um, oh yeah, the, then uh, my host mother went to work while we were in Vitan in the mountains, so then I'd look after him. Uh, I like, you know, put his snow stuff on, we'd go outside, play in the snow, um, he liked digging snow, he, you know, we were like laying down in the snow, it was so nice. Like that boy, like, he touched my heart, like full of energy and really happy. Um, and then like, um, there were days where we went back down to our star, you know, and then like, I'd look after him from 8 to 1 o'clock. Um, there my days would be like, you know, I, 
Like, I'd play with him generally, you know, you know, he likes jumping on the couch, playing with his cause, hiding with seek. A four years old is really, really easy to entertain, alright? Um, and like, I developed really strong bond with him of how he is, and I know exactly what he likes and what he doesn't like, you know? Um, so there was that, um, we did pasta together, I'd cook for him. Uh, my host mother would then come home. We talk about a little how it went, um, and that was like generally like, you know, how my day was. And then, you know, occasionally uh, my host child and my host mother, they'd go and do something, you know, and I'd have my like free day, you know, free time off, you know. That was pretty interesting, you know. So, uh, fast forward, um, like that was like the first week, and then later like we went back up to the mountain uh, there, we'd go sledding, um, my host mother would go with a friend snowshoeing, so I'd look after him like for an hour, you know. Like it was a pretty flexible schedule, I'd eat with my host family, um, it was amazing, you know. Uh, I got like an amazing pr Christmas present, celebrated New Year with everyone and met new amazing people then um yeah i went snowmobiling met this guy in the pub you know we went snowmobiling which was so fun um and yeah i was just so happy you know and then um when we were back in i was there one of the days like i went swimming with him um, so like I put on his bathing suit, walk him with holding his hand, going, you know, going to the pool. Um, he knew how to swim, but like I was careful that like, you know, he knows how to swim. Like, you know, like he knew how to swim a bit, you know, but like, you know, I had to be there, right? Um, and like that's something like, like as a new pair, like you really need to be with him, okay? For example, uh, let's say, for example, you go swimming, okay, with your host child, you can't just leave your host child alone in the pool and you go swimming by yourself. No, you need to be fully occupied, okay? Your full attention towards your host child, okay? Because thinking about, like, you are taking care of someone else's child, like, they trust you. You understand? Like, really important, you know? So that was fun, uh, then, you know, I showered him, we dressed him back up, um, met my host mother's parents, which was pretty fun. Um, had Christmas dinner, which Christmas dinner in Italy, like, it's so big, you know, like, you get, you get served, like, an apper two apparatus, two, two meals, uh, and then, like, two desserts, a coffee, wine, alcohol, um, Italian beer, you know, we're like, it's so amazing how, to see how different cultures around the world, they celebrate the Christmas, you know. And then he, uh, I still remember my host mother's father, like, he was explaining how, like, this, this meal right here is a tiny meal in Italy, tiny. Uh, on weddings in Italy, like, they, it takes like 10 hours to eat the meal because it's like five apparatus, five different meals. And, I don't know, tons of, like, tons of desserts, you know. You know, it's just so funny, you know. And, and it's like, and like I know it's like in Italian people, they're like, way more talkative than in Belgium, you know. Um, pizza's really cheap, I had like pizza. It just felt amazing, like, uh, and, and like, Italians, like, they, they like drinking alcohol, you know. Um, <laughs> completely uh, Italian culture, um, met, met amazing people, met an amazing girl that we really miss, like, and, um, that was that, and then, like, so, so this was generally, like, my experience, you know, and then, like, fast forward, like, 11, 12, 13, 14, stay, etc., um, yeah, like, I banded so well, like, I had a really good time, like, I, I felt like home, like, you know. Um, there were times where the host child would 
be mad, a bit mad, you know, like, he didn't want his mother to buckle him in the core, um, where he'd get mad at me because I wouldn't give him a piece of chocolate, um, which, on one side, you know, it can be a bit overwhelming, you know, like, them, like, you know, oh, no, uh, give me the piece of chocolate, you know, and, like, where they start crying and stuff, but, like, you need to understand, like, they're kids, right? They are kids, okay? So, you should be cooperative with them, and you have to make them happy, you know, really fast, it's really good, you know? For example, like, when my whole child would be angry, I fast it count one, two, three, four, five, you know? I like hiding with seek, and boom, he'd be happy again, you know? So, like, finding that in a high child, like, what makes him happy, kick really happy from angry to happy, helps a lot, you know? Uh, there was another time where, like, he didn't want me to put on his clothes because he wanted his mother to do it. Then I said, if you don't put on your clothes now, you'll get no chocolate. Um, and asked, do you want chocolate? He said, yeah. And I said, you'll get three chocolates, but first you put on your clothes. We did that, boom, gave him three chocolates. He gave me one. And he was so happy, you know, and he forgot about what happened, you know, so like, children are really, really like, fast to forgive, and full of energy, you know, so it's like, you know, this is really, really important, you know, to think about, you know. Um, and then, um, that was so fun, yeah, I met my host mother's friends, really friendly, I miss them all, you know, um, which I touch on it soon and then after that um yeah me and my whole child like yeah we had a blast you know like we had a blast i had about so much amazing memories i really love him really love my host mother and like everyone i met i'm so grateful that i i got the opportunity to have this amazing experience and then it was like yeah, like, just like, being with children, like, being with him, like, just like, so much energy, and like, you learn so much from them. And so much. And, yeah, it just made me really happy, and it's like, it, it didn't feel tiring to me because, like, I love doing this job, it's fun, you know, it's so fun. Um, some people think it's exhausting, I, I heard other people, their pair experience was really exhausting and they didn't like it, uh, because they had bad relationship with their family and stuff, but me, like, I had a really good family, a really good host child, loved it, I loved it. Hands down, the, one of the best things I did in my life. And people think, guys can't become an au pair, that's bullshit. Guys can also become an au pair, okay? You just need to love children, okay? You just need to have a heart for kids. And in fact, some some families, they're looking for guys versus girls, okay? Then I'm not gonna be explaining in detail why that is, okay? But I'm just saying that. It's like that, okay? Um, then it was time to leave. A few days before I left, I was crying in my bed, like, how oh, I need to leave, like, l leave my all of my memories, all of the amazing people I met, my host family, my host child behind, I was like, oh, I was sad, I was crying, man, like, I was really sad. So then, um, my host mother, uh, sign up for Barabaco and bring me and a different girl, okay, to the airport, and then uh, I met like a new girl, um, and yeah, so we were waiting together to get the plane, Ryanair, like, up the 15th of January, Ryanair, you're no longer allowed to take your your suitcase and your bag with you. Okay, you only had to take one baggage, not two, okay? 
where you sit on the airplane, you know. So your luggage needs to go on the bottom, even the small ones, and your back on top, you know. So blah blah at the airport, blah blah. You know, we're talking a lot, blah blah. Uh, uh, we boarded a flight, and yeah, came back home, and honestly, it sucks. Like it sucks. The worst thing about being an au pair is leaving is leaving it's like you you go from having a great experience leaving your home starting a new life and coming back home you know it's just so sad unfortunately i went for three weeks i would have loved to go longer but you know my host family only needed me for three weeks the one i chose the other ones, other host families that wanted to come for three months, six months, nine months, one year. But in my case, it was really short, and it's like, it's so sad, man. I would love to stay longer. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, another thing was, you know, um, if you go and be an au pair in Europe, and you know English, then it might be hard for you to bond with the host child because like they might not be able to speak as much English as you do, okay? So in my case, like my host child mostly spoke Italian and a tiny bit of English, so like we understood each other a lot but sometimes I wouldn't understand what he really wanted because he couldn't speak English, you know? He spoke mostly Italian, but you know, we understood each other so like, you know, that's something to make sure of, you know um, if you become a no pair in Europe, like, for example, Germany, the the native language of the host child will be German. If it's Ita Italy, their main language will be Italian. Spain, it will be Spanish, you know. If you go to America, everything will be English. You understand? So, you know, that's something to think about, you know. On top of that, yeah, um, signed up you know, au pair world, really good site, you can also go to agencies, um, you get free food, you don't have to pay rent, you get pocket money, pocket money isn't much, but you need to notice that this is more of an experience, cultural exchange, and I would have honestly even done it without, without even if I would get no money, I'd be happy, you know, so you know, that's some things to think about. Um, really important to adapt to, you know, your host child's wishes. Um, but also, on the other side, like, sometimes you need to say no and be strict, okay? Now, me personally, like, I wasn't too strict. I wouldn't, like, you know, hit him or, like, shower him, but I would say, no, you know? And then, like, he would, you know? So, you know, that's some stuff to think about, like, you know, kind of balance it. Don't be too strict, you know, have fun. Uh, entertain them. If they wanted to do pillows at them, do pillows at them. If they want to jump with you, jump with them, you know. 